Well, after cutting ties with the Minneapolis Police Department two years ago, the city's park board is doing an about face. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey was at tonight's park board meeting and joins us now. And Courtney, it seems the board is now facing the reality that it actually needs MPD. Yeah, they sure do. In Minneapolis, city parks host thousands of events in the spring and summer months. And the park board is realizing that by not allowing police to be at those events, they've created a bigger problem than they ever anticipated and the loss of a lot of money. The Minneapolis Park Board voted to cut ties with MPD in the weeks following George Floyd's murder, not only banning MPD from providing security for events like the Twin Cities Marathon and Pride Festival, but banning park police from assisting MPD in nonviolent calls. Today, with the governor's emergency order lifted and events back to full capacity, parks and rec staff say they're getting inundated with requests for events they simply cannot host with this current rule in place because city code requires a certain number of police based on crowd size and if NPD can't assist they will have to cancel those events and ultimately lose money. In a statement, Mayor Jacob Fry told us today that we now know what we knew then. The park police and MPD have to work together to keep people and our parks safe. I'm glad the park board is acknowledging this reality, and I look forward to our continued work together. Now, the repeal of this resolution did pass committee in a vote four to one today, and is, it is expected to pass in a full board vote in two weeks. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.